think instead what we need is the commitment to a, a multi-stakeholder engagement between all the different uh, uh, parties in, in the inter private sector parties in the internet environment and governments to, to develop uh, uh, rules of the road, to develop codes of conduct that, that can create uh, a sense of stability along with the kind of flexibility that we need to allow continued innovation. Um, how are we going to do this? I think that we can learn a lot, actually, going back to, to the um, left end of our spectrum. Um, uh, uh, we can learn a lot from, from the environments that the early internet and web technical standards bodies created, because those bodies in many ways pioneered uh, uh, for the whole world, beyond just the internet, pioneered um, mechanisms for multi-stakeholder participation and multi-stakeholder decision-making, and probably most importantly, for, for multi-stakeholder organizations that had legitimacy, that, had, that, that, that earned the right by the way they functioned to be taken seriously and to be trusted by, <coughs> by, by, by people around the world who depended on them. What are some of the, Scott has a better list of, of these, these, um, these, these characteristics than I do, but I'll tick off the ones that I think are important. First of all, these, these organizations obviously have to be open to all. Uh, uh, they have to be open to governments, they have to be open to individuals, they have to be open to commercial organizations, they have to be open to NGOs. Um, uh, their activities have to be transparent. They have to be able to see what's going on, they have to be able to, to participate uh, uh, at a distance. Uh, obviously, they have to function uh, across borders. Uh, they need some kind of, of, of reasoned and meritocratic decision-making process. Uh, you try to explain the decision making from the outside of, of any of these of any of these organizations, and it's a little bit confusing, uh, uh, and subject to a certain amount of uh, uh, poking fun at it, if you feel like it. But um, but but nevertheless, these bodies, uh, 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 to one degree or another, have 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 managed to create decision making environments in which the stakeholders are actually prepared to trust them, actually prepared to rely on them to make decisions, even if they don't always agree with them, and that's an essential condition of any organization that claims legitimacy, that claims to be able to, to set the rules uh, uh, in, in a broad environment. Um, and, and I guess finally I'd say, uh, again going back to the example of the, the Internet Engineering Task Force and to, to quote Dave Clark, you know, there, there was a recognition that in these technical standards environments you weren't always going to get it perfectly right uh, uh, the very first time uh, um, and that uh, that rough consensus in running code was, was really the decision-making uh, rule of the day. Um, and this is in a lot of ways the trickiest problem that I'd say we face when we start to apply this model to um, issues at higher levels of the stack, if you will, to, 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 to policy issues, particularly to social policy issues. Um, uh, we have some regulators around the world who very, get very uncomfortable, for example, when a social networking service puts out a new feature or a search engine puts out a new feature and it ends up, and they say, well, that, this feature is a beta. Uh, and, and, and people look at it and say, well, that's, that feature's got a pretty privacy invasive quality to it. Um, uh, uh, we're gonna have to learn how to, uh, on the one hand, be able to make flexible decisions uh, and allow innovation to happen, but also uh, give, give users and give regulators comfort that, that, that when, when services make significant decisions like this, put out, uh, put out products and services that have real effect on real people, uh, that, 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 that the processes have been well thought through, that there's been feedback, uh, and certainly that when there are, there are problems, they're, they're addressed uh, uh, quickly.